Hello, citizens. Welcome to another episode of Clock Tower. Last time, I actually made progress. I know, amazing, right? And, uh, yeah, found a few nifty, nifty items. Let's see, those include, like, um, some keys, a rope, etc., etc. Anyways, I need to figure out what to do with those things. So the first thing I'm thinking is, um, well, actually, going back to the room on this floor, the one with the phone, and uh, seeing if I can actually answer it, because... And I'm getting, I just keep getting the impression that that's going to be important, for some reason. Alright, now that, um, the slow descent on the stairs has occurred. Go ahead and go into this room. Now, now I've definitely noticed that, uh, when I run my, like, um, you know, little background on my character, uh, turns dark. I mean, it's, you know, turns more red, you know, so from yellow to red, yeah, I get it. Okay, I mean, are you gonna answer it? Come on, answer it! Oh, fine. Okay. But, yeah, I'm not exactly sure what that means, like, maybe I can... No, it, it, it's definitely like a health meter. You know, it means I can uh, resist some more attacks. Anyways, we'll go ahead and go through here now. No, I can't do anything with that. Got perfume, rope, and a black robe. Uh. Perfume, rope, a black robe. Like, maybe I can use the rope. Um, to climb out that window where my friend was just... thrown out. <laughs> And uh, maybe I can put, like, that black robe on one of the mannequins. In, uh, this room over here. Yeah, maybe, just... Maybe. Hello? Anyone in here with the dress? Only to become decent! Maybe someone needs to smell pretty! No? No? Okay. Okay! Anyways, the only thing I can think of then is uh, to use the rope. Anyways, yeah, I'm pretty sure, uh, the, you know, the color of the background behind my character's profile, you know, it, it just represents my health, like how many hits I might be able to take. If, for, the most, for the most part, I don't really think I have to worry about it. Right, anyways, that's uh, the piano room, the conservatory, I should say. Uh, the, uh, the doll room, here should be uh, the study. Darn, skip it! Right, will this actually work? This is where Anne... <sighs> okay, fine. Fine! Hmm. Okay, well, uh, then I don't know what to do. So, it's up to me! to keep wandering this mansion, finding something to do, and then reporting back to you all when I do find something. So let's cut to the next interesting part. What? Now? Now you do it? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Holmes? My goodness.
Alrighty then. Okay, well, well, there's something here. Now, what is up with this big splotch of cloth? No, okay, it's paint. Okay, well, remove the paint then. Okay, let's go back to uh, the regular pointer. See, there's like something here, but... Do I like put the robe on? Maybe? Do I make do I make the statue smell pretty? No? No? Oh, okay. Okay, done. Let's see. Now it's pointing uh, to their hands. Aha! An idol is hidden in the statue's bosom. It's cold. A cross protrudes from the bottom. Picked up the demon idol. Oh! Yeah, yeah, that, that's right. That kind of reminds me of, um... Uh, the thing we read in the... Um, weird mural room. Anyway, now I got the demon idol. Um, I guess I have to recreate the conditions that were shown in that mural. Of course, it's broken. Of course. Oh, not again. Okay, okay, so where can I go? Where can I go? Where can I go? I just want to make sure he doesn't just pop up in front of me. Anyways, maybe I'll use... Anyways, yeah, maybe I'll use uh, the bathroom trick again. Right, come on. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Alright, through here. Through... No, no! Through here! Get on the door! Okay, whew! Hmm. Now I think about it, I need to go down these stairs. Anyways, I'm gonna try another hiding place, other than the bathroom. I think I can hide in like the garage. You know, you have the ladder there with uh, the the bales of hay on the top, and I don't think of those massive scissors that he he'll be able to climb the ladder. I think I should be safe. No, this way, this way. Oh, you don't trip over yourself again. Or oh no no I yeah I could have gone up there and uh went over went over the ledge. But hey. My LP, my mistakes. I'm gonna do things my own way. Ooh. Frame rate took a dive there. No, no. Okay, up the ladder, up the ladder, now. This isn't gonna work. I was too slow. Uh, what you gonna do? I'm up here, and you're down there! Huh? What's, what's going on? He's, he's leaving? 
No, he's coming up. He's coming up. Um. No. No, I didn't want this to happen. No! Well, that clever girl. And yes, Jurassic World came out recently, so that is such an appropriate joke. Alright, anyways, I should have just locked myself in the bathroom. Should have just done that. Anyways, uh, I'm not gonna try here again, because I'll probably just screw up. Let's go upstairs and uh, hide behind the shelves in the top room. <sighs> you know you can run up the stairs. I, I, I mean, I get you're kind of clumsy. I get that. You, you've been tripping over yourself ever since you've been running from the Scissor Man here. Through here, through here. Don't just walk, run! You don't have to use your indoor speed when your life's on the line! No, okay, over here, over here, over here, over here. I mean, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, go, before it gets here. Yes! I right, should be safe. Perfect! Go away. Go away. No. All right. Finally found a new trick to avoid this guy. Anyways, uh, just one more thing while I'm thinking about it. Can I poke the stick? Uh, can I poke over a stick? Because I, I, I want what's in that bird's nest. I want it. Yeah, I need it! Anyways, I'll probably die uh, to the crow right now. Oh, come on, push it. Push it! I don't care, just push it! Ugh. Fool! Alright, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and make my way back to the room I got so rudely run out of, so... Let's skip to the next interesting part. Whoosh! Alright, let's try this again! Okay, so... Tableware? Okay, so I can admire the tableware. Without being run out of the room. That's good. That's good. That's a good start. Uh, what's in what's in these boxes of uh yeah. <gasps> It's a hole. There's a hole at the bottom of the wall. Um... Uh, righty then, not exactly sure what's happened. So what did I get, what did I get? Bam. Oh... <gasps> 
There's a room over there. Anyway, I don't think they're going to chase me away again. At least not so soon. Oh, it's a dead body. It hasn't been used in ages. The air in this room is stagnant. Looks like someone was counting days. Marks are cut into this wall. Let's see, we got a piece of paper here. It looks like a chart of some sort. Mary's and patient's names. The name of the master of the house. Mary. Barrows. I'm sure that's supposed to be significant, but I've kind of forgotten everybody's name here. Looks like a chart. The patients were two newborn babies. A black medical bag. A name's embroidered here. Walter Simpson. Walter Simpson? Okay, well, who's that? Fa. Father. Father? Take a line from Star Fox. Don't ever give up, my daughter. Father? It's whole. It. It. The dead body, isn't it? It's it, it, disrespectful. Looks like a memo. Ooh. November 10th, 1986. This is the third day I, Walt Dr. Walter Simpson, have been in here. I'll not last long. Before I die, I will record this. There are twin children who are a blemish on this world. When the lady was to give birth, I was called to this house. She gave birth to two chill, no, demons. When they were born, they ate my right hand. They were ill, their bodies deformed. They should have died, but they lived. I should have tried to. Breathing is painful. The air in this room is already gone. They are in a cradle under the star. Under the star. Jennifer. 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 Okay. Okay, yep, yep. Yeah, I, I I thought I could get um get something from that bag. Anyways, what a co winky dink. So I assume the scissor man that's been chasing me around this whole time is one of those demon children. Some valuable looking pictures. Okay, well, hey, I don't see any better place to end this episode than here. We got a nice, nice big bit of story there. Nice little surprise. Nowhere else to go. It all just fits perfectly. So, hey, thank you very much, Citizen, for watching this, uh, watching this video. If you liked it and the series, you know what to do. Do the liking, the subscribing, and all that other gobbledygook. gook. So, thanks again for watching. And this has been President Vocelli. Sad enough.